As you longtime viewers of my reviews may know, I am a big fan of the Game Party series overall. I think the simple gameplay and easy to use controls make it very fun for parties. Now Gameplay Champions took that idea and said, yeah, now let's see if we can do that and then suck all the fun out of the title because this game is awful. You can play the game in a free choice menu or in a story mode. Yes, this game has a story mode. Maybe you're thinking it's an uplifting story about a young kid just trying to move up the ladder of high scores so they can achieve a little bit of notoriety in the arcade they visit. Nope, it's about a character whose dad died and you're all depressed and your best friend is trying to get you out of your depression by competing in some arcade game tournaments. Thanks for that depressing storyline there. Was that really necessary? Now there are eight games to play. Ping pong, skill ball, water gun shooting, mini golf, air hockey, basketball, football, and baseball. Each of these are played using the touch screen on the game pad. They're a bit hit and miss when the controls will work right. The problem is that it never felt like you were controlling the action. I would swipe up to throw a ball, but it didn't feel like I had the control on how far it would go. There was no sense of power in my throw. Basketball was almost unplayable because the thing would be a moving target, and football to a lesser degree, but at least the targets weren't too hard to hit. Ping pong wasn't much better. They don't even show you the paddle. You just swipe when the ball comes at you. The paddle should have been there so we could see the angles that were hitting the ball. Now skill ball didn't even have any skill in it at all. Just swipe in the same direction with the same amount of force and you'll get a high score every time. The same can be said for baseball. While the pitches do change, the overall way of hitting it won't. Just swipe the same basic way and you'll get a high score. Now air hockey was a joke. The paddle stoppers were very loose to the touch. It was all about luck and it could be a bit tough until you realize that you could stomp on the puck and move it around and thrust it really fast using the stopper. After I learned that trick, the game was very easy to win. But one of the worst was mini golf. That is a game where they need to show you how much power each tap of your putter is gonna do. But there is no gauge or indicator on how much power you're putting into a swing. So often you would overhit your target. Plus the camera was just god awful at times. Do we really need to have this tree blocking me? Like the game isn't hard enough. But that's not to say all these games control poorly. Water Gun Shootout was actually decent. But the problem was it was just very boring. If you beat all the other opponents in a particular event, you'll go up against the champion of the game. Or a boss fight if you want to think of it that way. All you're doing is beating his high score. And I found it very easy. Now playing the story mode will unlock different modes for you to play in the free play mode. If you really care to, which of course you won't. There is also a party mode. You spin a spinner on your gamepad to find out how many spaces you have to go on the board. Then they'll have the player go to the game that they landed on, and they'll have to complete a certain challenge in 25 seconds or less. One of the more irritating things about this is that it could take up to 25 seconds to boot up the game that you're only going to play for 25 seconds. That is just ridiculous and really boring for anyone who tries to actually play it. Okay, I'm showing you guys the actual time it takes to load up just one game from the multiplayer game, and it's still going. Hope you guys have a book or something. Sorry, I know this is kind of boring, but you know what? This is what I had to deal with playing this game. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. We're waiting on this loading screen. This game really sucks. It's over 30 seconds long for a 25 second game. That is unbelievable. The load times on all the games are just terrible. If the person loses the challenge, the person has to go back to the space they were on previously. Now the goal is not to turn off the Wii U. Uh, I mean, get to the finish. Truthfully though, the goal should be don't turn off this game. Because it's going to be one hard goal to beat. Now there is also an online leaderboard. Well, there would be if it wasn't down every time I tried to access it. I think the problem with this game is that it's using the gamepad for everything. This is not the type of game that should be played on the gamepad. You should be doing the motions instead of swiping all the time. They should have made these games compatible with the Wiimote, but they didn't. They wanted to show off what I assume was the worst possible way to make an arcade simulator on the Wii U. And with that, they succeeded. Game Party Champions was terrible. It had poorly made controls, an unnecessary story mode, and bad game design, which makes this one game I think you should definitely skip. 